Hey everyone, the Flying Hollager here, and today we're going to be reviewing my entire Death Note collection. And by my entire collection, I don't just mean Blu-rays and DVDs. I've got I've got a few stuff I want to show you, as Death Note is by far my number one anime of all time. I love Death Note to bits. I yeah, I just it's by far my favorite anime. It's got you know great portion of episodes is all 37 episodes the ovas are just easy enough to get but uh you know it's not one of those ovas that have five ovas or seven ovas it's just they're not really ovas they're just retelling of the story in like movie format but there's a few like scenes that i think you should see sort of like the scene with l and uh light and then you know in like a theater or a cinema as we call it but, uh, yeah, people call it theatres as well. <laughs> There's loads of theatres in London. But I uh, sort of lost track of what I was just talking about there. But, uh, yeah, so first of all, here's the first thing I'm going to be showing you. This is what started off my love for Death Note. I bought the original. So you can see it's in poor condition. But uh, I've had this for ages See, like, you've got the odd rips and stuff, but this is just cardboard, you know. If you can have this for a long time and it's in storage, you're going to have that problem. But I've had this for as long as I can remember. Uh, I love slim ones like this. Slim ones. I will be getting more box sets in the future. Unfortunately, this is, like, a paper box set. Because, like, crappy. I like the, uh, the hardback, you know. The hardback sort of a box set because... Less able to break, less able to show, you know, signs of wear. But this is just, yeah, the Americans have the DVD. I don't know what their DVD version looks like, but their Blu-ray version. So uh, let me show you my Blu-ray. This is my Blu-ray. Fortunately, the Blu-ray version sucks in England, but the front cover is pretty cool. Uh... This is it. It's literally all you get. Just a standard Blu-ray in a paper flipping. You know, I've still got the uh, cellophane on it just to protect it from scratches and crap. But I've seen it. The Blu-ray's not bad. Uh, yeah, I think the Americans. I know the Americans. They have like a hardback version. You know, they have like the hardback one, and they have like a, a you know, booklet or some shit in it. Because well, let's just put it this way: I face facts. America will always have better releases than we are because they distribute it, they make the dubs and the uh, Funimation pretty much licenses most of this, you know, the crap and, you know, they will always get better stuff than we will. Yeah, unfortunately, but... If you want to have a look inside, this is what it looks like inside. you got volume 9 there. With the delete, delete guy. <laughs> Got Mellow there, Near there. I love Near, but loads of people hate him because he's a kid and he managed to beat Light so easily. In my opinion, he, he literally he knew everything, single thing Light was up to. But, uh, he he's like Light uh, L. He literally he thought of Light immediately. He's like Light's killer. Yeah, I know that straight away. <laughs> it took uh, L a few, you know episodes or so to actually suspect light but there's rem if you do anything to harm me sir i will kill you <laughs> I, love, I love that quote uh there's misa right next to uh rem there's ryuk again there's um there's l and there's light that's what it looks like inside, nothing special. Oh, I've only just noticed that. You've got some skulls and stuff inside, it's not bad. So yeah, the DVD. I think it's pretty cool like that. If it's hardback, I'd... I love this set if it's hardback, but unfortunately it's not. It's not. But, uh, like I said, Americans will always get better stuff than we will, but... Their, their DVD version, they probably have thousand different versions, you know. Uh, what is it, license, Viz Media licenses. That's what it looks like at the back. Hopefully you can see that. 
There we go. Yeah. Blu-ray. The Blu-ray just has a standard Blu-rays. No. What, wait, is that two? Yeah, this is one. You know, standard Blu-rays. This is two. Cool art in the back. But, oh yeah, you got to love Death Note. Death Note is just amazing. It has the perfect portion of episodes. Instead of having like thousands of seasons like flipping, you know, Gundam. I even came across Gundam the other day. My God. There's like Gundam this, Gundam that, Gundam 97, Gundam 92, Gundam 90 this. I was like, oh, I can't be bothered with it all. I even saw something on all the anime, like Gundam 150p, uh, 50p, 150 pounds, Gundam Seed. I was like, okay, does it have every single Gundam thing? No, nope, no, it only has like the original remastered shit and a few other stuff. Nah, screw that. Uh, yeah, that is my Death Note DVD and Blu-ray. Like I said, the American hardback Blu-ray is better than ours, but i got to stop comparing Got to face facts, the Americans always have better stuff than we will, but that's enough for the DVDs and Blu-rays. Let's start going on to the books. Okay, let's start off with the manga. So this is the <laughs> the daddy of all manga, of all Death Note manga. And you can see this is, I think this is the front, maybe the back, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, this is what the manga looks like. I don't read manga I just had to get this manga because I just love Death Note, really. Let's turn this bad boy around. That's what the other side looks like. This is what that side looks like. What this side looks like. It includes manga volumes 1 to 12. Death Note, how to read, and collectible, how to use booklet. Does it have the price on it? Should have the price on it, shouldn't it? I think it's at the bottom. There we go. That's just dust, isn't it? Yeah, it's dust. Uh, that's what the bottom looks like. The angel's name has just got the, you know, the rules of the Death Note written on the bottom. It's right there. See? 2003, I think this was, a. Uh, this was released. 115 US dollars, 140... Well, it doesn't say that, but, you know, it's close to that. Canadian dollars. 80 pounds is how much it retails in England. I didn't pay 80 pounds for this. I think I paid 40... £43 something, yeah, I, I got a bargain for this, I got it brand new and sealed, but, see, let's open that, I love that, see that, see what it looks like, and then when you open it up, voila, this looks amazing. So you got all volumes, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. And you also have the how to read. And if we put that down like that, let's do it a bit more. Let's see if I can... My... Bear with me. Okay, so... Unfortunately, when this arrived... Uh, open this, push this out a bit. There we go. When it arrived, as you can see there, it's a bit dogged right there, and a little cut there. It's came brand new and it arrived like that. The book's mint, you know, the book is pretty much mint, as you can tell. Except for that little bit there. The book is literally mint. Maybe I'll sell this and uh, get one that's better, but it won't be as mint as that, but 
as long as I can fix that there. You can get it quite cheap, actually. But yeah, that's annoying. The rest of the books are fine, complete mint condition. I'm actually... Oh, sorry, take this out. I'm actually reading the first volume as we speak. Remember, every time you read this, always, always put it back in. Because, you know, otherwise the, the sides will just fold like that and you'll just be dangling that. Uh, so it looks like from this angle. So we open it up. It tells you, like, little insights. See? Got a few stuff there. Um, yeah, I've got a bookmark that I bought, as you can see. This bookmark here matches the back of the manga, which is really cool. I'll talk about the bookmarks in a second, because I, I ordered some bookmarks and they came as well. But yeah, let me just put that back. Okay, so it also comes with booklet. Oops, is that upside down? Yeah, it's upside down. But uh, yeah, as always, the books in America and England are pretty much exactly the same. They get what we get, they get the black editions, they get everything. Books aren't like DVDs. If you get a book, they're usually the same. But uh, American Harry Potter, American uh, English Harry Potter, all that, that's going to be different. But yeah, funny enough, we have the same box set, the same mangas as the Americans. And yeah. So how to use it, I think, you just open it up, yeah, it just tells you the rules, which is really cool, see all the rules in there, right in there, any extra stuff, because if it's just the rules, that's pretty, pretty big letdown, yeah, it's just, just the rules, oh, uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's just the rules, put that there also this i haven't actually taken it out yet but Ugh, there we go this thing right here and then we put the camera back a bit i think you have to sort of pull it out but not doing that it tells you cut here and it as you can see it says how to read and then it says death note Oh God, the camera's not... There we go. Death Note, how to read 13, true name card of L. So we'll find out L's real name. I think I already know it. Uh, skip ahead uh, five seconds into about 13 minutes and 15. I think his name's L. Lawlett. I'm not sure. I think that is it. Well, welcome back. Uh, just I just uh, spoiled his name, I think, but... I'm not sure whether that was his name or not, but I kind of Googled it, and I think that was. But, uh, yeah. Ultimate Death Note Encyclopedia. Yeah. But yeah, it's only a slight little, you know, slight little letdown that is a bit dogged, but so as you can see, the book is pretty much mint, just for that, just for that little thing, but yeah, that's what it looks like. Close it up. Put it in like that. But as you can see, that bookmark actually matches that, which is really cool. Let's go on to bookmarks now, eh? So you just, you've got a handle there. Let's actually talk about the bookmarks. So I paid £3.99p, which isn't bad. These aren't like crappy bookmarks. These are like really good ones. But, uh... Yeah, this is what that one looks like. You had like a whole range of them to choose from, but I I decided to get these because these were the, uh, the you know UK seller was selling these pretty much. The others were like they were okay, but only Japanese seller was selling them for like two quid. But you had to wait like two months to get them. But uh, these two came as one, so four pounds I got for all of that. Pretty cool bookmarks. Three ninety nine pounds, yeah. Three pound ninety nine p, but yeah, I really like these. One's missing because, of course, I used it. 
I used, I'm using it now. Uh, excuse me for a sec. Okay, so you can sort of, sort of take it out like that. See? It's actually really nice. It's sort of put up against the light. See, it's sort of see-through in a way. And not that much, but it's really nice. See, look. It's really nice. I like it a lot. These are really nice. But, uh, yeah. Put that back nice and snug there. Uh, oops, it needs to go over a bit more. Ah, I can do that in my own time. I'll push that over later. But oh uh, yeah, these are really nice bookmarks. You can get them on eBay. Like I said, I got mine from a UK seller, so it was only these ones that I could actually get, but I'm not paying £2 and waiting like two months for the rest of them. Uh, yeah, these are really nice. I really like these. Moving on to the books now. I didn't even know this existed until some guy on YouTube uh, was talking about this. I ordered the first one. It cost me like £2.40 something. Uh, and then it was like free in stock for like 2 50 but it like pre-owned. So, yeah, I bought that. Of course, it had a big massive stain there. You know what? I can actually show you that. So, yeah, this is the rubbish one. I kind of ruined this. See how it's folding? I kind of did that. I was trying to actually clean it. See the stains all over it? I was trying to clean that, but I actually put a bit of water and made it fold. So the rest of the book's fine. What about the back? The back's fine. The rest of the book's fine. It's just that horrible thing there. If you take this, uh, see, it comes off like that. But, uh, yeah... Get rid of that horrible... F so, yeah, that one just now that you saw, I I went to send it... I wanted to send it back. They went, you know what? We don't want it. You can have a refund and you can actually keep the item. We don't want it. I was like, oh, cool. All right, then. <laughs> so I managed to uh, get a refund and keep it. So maybe I'll sell that rubbish on eBay or whatever. I'll sell it for, like, 99p on bid, see where it goes. But I bought this one... Brand new for £7.50. I thought, if I'm going to get this, get it brand new. Got it brand new for £7.50. As you can see, not even a mark on it. This is really cool. It like, acts as a bookmark. When I'm reading this, I'm not actually going to use that. I'm going to use one of the bookmarks here. Let's open this up. This is what it looks like in the inner side of it. It's ten pounds retail. Uh, retails at ten pounds in England. Twenty one ninety nine Canadian. You know what? I'm not even gonna go through that. Not a clue what that even is. But, uh, mm, slight stain there. Well, that wear wear away in time. If I keep going like that, that should wear away. See, look, can you even see it that much? Nah. Uh, that's what it looks like. Open it up. That's what it looks like. Inside. Printed in China. Hmm. 2008 this was released. See? This is... I've heard light isn't in this. It's sort of a side story. Uh, maybe it's a previous before... Before Death Note, but... See, Naomi Misura in the, in the anime... Ray Pemba, her fiance. I actually really looking forward to what you know reading this. Uh, look at the back. Oh, a few lines there. A few. Ugh, it's, it's not really visible though that stain. Even when you actually get these brand new, I've seen them in the bookstop, uh, bookshops. And they're slightly stained. You can't help that. It's not as bad as the one over there, but it's not bad. Some Shonen Jump, Viz Media, same, yeah. But, uh, oh, that's just like little light marks. See, look, it's coming off already. 
But, uh, yeah, it's really good. I'm happy with this. Scratch that off. But, uh, what's it look like in here? Oh, sounds like I have post. Postman just delivered something to my door. Uh, yeah, anything? Oh, that's what it looks like inside. Uh, okay. Damn it. It's hard doing this one handed. I think there's another page that is sort of a... There it is. Oh, God. I keep dropping this. Jesus Christ. Uh. What's that? Let's try that again. Yeah, look, that's pretty cool. Page two, Ryozaki. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it, but... I really like this. Great book. Can't wait to read it. Yeah, cannot wait to read it. Retails at 10 quid if you want to get it brand new, but... I got it brand new on eBay, so... It's during the COVID pandemic, which we're still in now, but... London might even go in tier three, you know, it's, it's ridiculous. They keep changing the minor government, just screwed them. <laughs> screwed them all. But yeah, I got this on eBay because the bookstore was closed due to the pandemic. Just put that over there for now. Next book. The next one we have, you may have come across a few times whilst trying to uh, buy the manga, is L Changed the World. I also got this for £7.50, brand new. See, as you can see, look. It comes with like a little plastic thing. So many people end up getting the plastic and then just losing it. Like, why? Just keep it on the book. See if I can... Look how cool that is. See? Let's open this up. See? Hello, Riyazaki. How are you, Riyazaki? Boom. Where did your light go? Oh, he's over there now. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's open this up. What it looks like inside. Some more contents of the book. Elle's affair. <laughs> I don't think it's a relationship affair. Maybe it's a different one, but... That sort of looks like an envelope here, look. It looks like that. that looks really cool. Really like that. Anything else inside? Not really. Thirteen pounds. This book is. I paid only seven pound fifty. As you can see, it's brand new. Thought that was a mark. Oh, yeah. It's not. It's not. See, look, you've got little white ones down there as well. It's just part of the art. But, uh, yeah, this is really cool. Another side story with light. Probably not light, at uh, L. But, uh, yeah, it looks really cool. Look at the way it shines. Can't wait to read that one. These are just light novels. Like this one, it's a light novel. novel. <laughs> Neville. <laughs> it's a light novel. Can't wait to read that. Yeah. I don't know if there's any other novels... But uh, let's go on to something very special now. So the next thing I want to show you is the Death Note itself. <laughs> Here's the Death Note. It's got like some cellophane here, but let's take this off. The cellophane is only there to protect it, really, but, you know, it's not any scratches or bumps. Side... I'm going to still keep it in there anyway, but what the Death Note looks like. This is the real one, by the way. Uh, it's not one of those fake imitations, as you can tell. This is very 
faded here. See this? It's very faded. If you get the fake version, it's just all like white. It's like someone's just splatted it. But uh, this is the real one. This is the real Death Note. I even show you inside that it's the real one. So, yeah, I've taken it out. This is the real Death Note. If you open up the page... Oh, I've actually figured out that's actually pencil right there. I can rub that off. Because there's a bit over here that I rubbed, I rubbed off earlier. Uh, open it up. Hold on. Open this baby up. What that looks like. See, you can tell this is real because look how big this is. See? It's right here. The fake version is actually smaller and only covers the skull. So you see, see his heart? That would be it. The wings would be there. This is the real one, as you can tell. You've got the rules of the Death Note right here. As the original Death Note would have. You just get it more... A lot of rules. Okay. There's a, some guy selling this on eBay. He was selling a real one. And it had Justin Bieber, Katy Perry. <laughs> uh, one even had Barack Obama on it, I think. But I don't want to write, you know, have one that's already been written in. Uh, this, is, this isn't been written in. This is part of the book. Lindell Taylor. One of the first people he killed in the anime. I think it was... Yeah, I think it was... The, no, it was that second... He was one of the others. He wasn't the first person. The first person was uh, that guy, you know, the, the guy on the motorbike, wasn't it? He was the first person. If you read the manga, it's kind of weird because it's sort of reverse, but then light start, starts explaining it. So, yeah, the first death, I think, was... I can't remember, I can't remember. It's confusing, but... Uh, yeah, in the manga, he kills Lind Lindell Taylor first. But then it turns out he hadn't actually killed Lindell Taylor first. He'd actually... He actually killed the guy on the motorbike. You know, the motorbike guy trying to harass that girl outside the uh, magazine store, the drink store, whatever. But then, uh, yeah, that was the first one he killed. The guy on a motorbike, you know, the gang trying to harass that girl. That was the first one. But then uh, Ryuk's like, ah, oh, I see you're getting accosted with my death note. And then he starts explaining to him that. And then he sees Lindell Taylor. I think uh, Ryuk's standing in the room next to him while he kills Lindell Taylor. L figures out, oh, you can kill someone without being there. Bloody blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to spoil anymore. But, yeah. That's why all Lindell Taylor's name's in there. See? You go all the way there. Yeah. Really cool. The name's all written in there. What's the back look like? Back's pretty regular. Pretty plain. There's no ages or... Uh, not ages. There's no money thing there. But this is real. This is the real one. 100% the real one. Because if it's fake, the D would be smaller. It would be like the back there. But no, this is the real one. Because as you can see, the uh, fake one I think is purple and it's it's uh, bigger. It goes out there. And it also has a really, you know, large sm like splatter mark there. But yeah, this is the real Death Note. It comes with a feather, which is trash because... Let's see, look at the ink there. I've written a few uh, parcels and posted them off. You know, I've sold a lot of stuff on eBay. And this keeps running out. And then it doesn't run out. And then it runs out. And then it doesn't run out. It's annoying. As a mind of its own, it's a feather pen. <laughs> Which is weird, because in the manga and the Death Note, there's no feather pen. He just writes with a normal flipping, you know, ballpoint pen. don't understand, really, why the feather's here, but still cool. All the same. But yeah, that's the Death Note. So, that's the, uh, the end of that collection. Let's go on to my t-shirts now. Wait a minute, before we actually go into the t-shirts, let me show you my OVAs. These are the DVD OVAs. Uh, I bought these brand new. Death Note R2, Light Successes. Death Note R, uh, Relight Visions of God. So you get the, just, you know, the series 
retold. That goes with pretty much the original series. The Blu-ray, if I can find it, is literally, it's got the OVAs in Blu-ray for the first time. Yeah, and, and the series for the first time, but that is the equivalent of both of those together. Also, if you wanted to see what this looked like, this is like this is the you know the smudge one, but that's what it looks like underneath. The back, it's pretty plain at the back. That's what it looks like on the side. Okay, so I have a long sleeve T-shirt as you can see right here. I got this bad boy on eBay. I think I paid a uh, twelve pounds for it. I'm not sure. If I just open this up. Like that. It's got a... Oops, what was that? Oh, it's nothing. Uh, got a tag there. It says Fruit Loom. I think that's a company. Uh, yeah. That's what that looks like. If I can get this out a bit more. Yeah, that's what that'll look like. You have light there. And the top you have near. And you got her. And you got all these characters. That's what my t shirt, and it has long sleeves because I don't like short ones. I like long sleeve ones. This long sleeve goes all the way up there. I'll show you the uh, sweatshirt now. This is my hoodie slash sweatshirt. Uh, sweatshirt. I really like it because it has the rules of the Death Note written here. I think I paid like £15 for this. But uh, yeah, it's got the inside there. It's really, really warm. I really, really like it. You can see right there. That's my sweatshirt. Yeah. That is pretty much my entire my entire collection. I hope you enjoyed this long 32 minute video, Jesus. <laughs> and uh, I'll be doing a few more well, reviews in the future. Well, not Death Note, that's it for Death Note, <laughs> until they bring anything else out. But uh, there's also, uh, you can actually read it on the internet, I don't think they ever brought it out in book. But uh, I'll leave it in the description below. It's actually a manga. Uh, it's like a new manga. I think it's called One Shot. I'm not sure. I'll leave it in the description anyway. But yeah, you can actually read it for free. It was never released on book or manga or whatever. It was never released. So you can. I'll leave that in the description below. It's like, it's like a boy like Light who finds... I think he's given a death note. I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, it's a new story. Never made into an adaption or anything, but I'll leave that in the description below. It's like, sort of like Light, but, you know, a new successor of Light, really. I don't, I'm not sure, I'm not sure how it goes, but, yeah, I'll, I'll leave that in the description below. It's, it's a new manga, sort of Death Note, anyway. I hope you enjoyed this. It's the Flying Halucha. I'm out.